you know when you have some dinosaurs that you just love? For me, Dino Kyrus is one of them. It's like a chimera in dinosaur form. It's stunning. Since Dino Kyrus will be a piscivorous omnivore, we know it's going to be wading through ponds, swamps and rivers, surveying for its preferred hydrophytes and macrophytes, complementing its diet nicely with an occasional aquatic meat-based delicacy, elite fish, and you could look into the idea of Kyrus snacking on small tier semi-aquatics. Either bipe or ostro come to mind, but if that strays too far from the piscivorous path then feel free to throw that idea out the window. I draw the comparison to how large herbivorous animals today sometimes eat meat to help supplement their diet. And I do also like the idea of young Kiras being able to snack on frogs if they are able to catch them, reliably that is. How cool would that be? You're just a baby Kiras and you're trying to get some frogs. I think that'd be so cool. I would like Kiras to head inland for when its nutritional requirements demand it too. And I think it would be better if it didn't spend its entire life around aqua oriented regions. I like the idea of it foraging through marshland on its way to more firm grassland areas where beneficial fruits like pumpkins and melons can be found. It would also be funny to see a dino Kyrus use those massive claws to grab some bananas from tall trees in sparsely forested areas, so both could work. I do really want to make a video about what biomes would work well for a rumor, but we'll have a look after the next four videos out since we know what they'll be. When it comes to family groups, I like the idea of two adults looking after three to four juveniles, leaving them to search for pastures new when they reach the young adult life stage. Once fully grown, I don't think they should be in herds of more than two, Actually, maybe gaggle should have been the, a better word to use there for how goose-like they are like. Actually, similarly to geese and swans who mate for life, I hope the devs go all out for its courting animation. I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. Dino Kyrus should defend their territory fiercely against other duck-billed ornithomimosaurs and the other threats that accompany water sources. Weighing roughly 7.4 tons, it's a force to be reckoned with, but it isn't untouchable. Spinosaurus should be its main rival, I think these two will have some of the bloodiest battles in the aisle. If both are full adult, I think it should be a relatively even fight, but we'll have to see since Spino is two tons heavier. This one section here has me hyped. It looks so sick. Just on a quick side note, Spinosaurus's concept art is probably the coolest I've seen. Just look at the look at the grip it's got on that Tenno body. Damn. It should also keep an eye out for Dinosuchus. Although lumbering on land, Dinosuchus is a fearsome predator in water. Every other semi-aquatic shouldn't really be a problem for our duck-billed friend, but if Kira's ventures inland, it faces more equipped dangers, shall we say. In real life, fully grown Dino Kira's had little to fear. Their biggest threat would be Tarbosaurus, which reached about 12 meters in length and weighed about five tons. It wasn't to be messed with, and it was the top predator of the infamous Namek formation, but, the isle has much more fearsome predators. Tyrannosaurus rex should be the fawn in Dino Kyrus's side. Bolstering an immense bite force, likely to fracture targets, Kyrus should look to avoid such a foe. Packs of Acrocanthosaurus could also pose a threat, especially with their more robust build suited for close quarters combat. They are designed to take a hit. Kyrus could find it difficult to deal with multiple, if outnumbered. Giganotosaurus could also be an issue. Having a superior trot speed, it'd have no problem walking down Dino Kyrus. But it would be wise to choose carefully on whether to engage, since Kyrus would have some level of bleed resistance, helping it cope with a bleed reliant predator's onslaught. Overall, I think it should be vulnerable to fracture, whilst less so to bleed. And our duck build friend is far from defenseless. Using those massive arms, which are bigger than a person, it should be able to swat away smaller annoyances whilst delivering heavy damage to larger occupants. Its auto attack should be a quick turnaround and smack kind of move, and I did like the idea of it potentially having a blinding claw attack, where you specifically aim for the face that causes the attacker to have a red blood effect on their screen, but maybe that's better reserved for Fairy. A defensive grab kind of move, like a wrestler, that could be interesting, but I don't want to take it too far. Since it is classed as a semi-aquatic, there has been a lot of discussion as to whether it should have the ability to dive. Personally, I don't think it should. I see it in Path of Titans and it just doesn't look right to me. It may be a hippo walk like Spino, where it walks along the bottom. I mean, maybe, I I'm not too sure. You guys, let me know what you think about that. I think it's a given that it's going to be a good wader. It's going to be able to wade. And if it doesn't get hippo walk or dive, then... Hopefully it's an excellent swimmer. 
I'd, I'd love it to be. Maybe it'll be like Anki where it just sinks because it's so heavy. But I mean, who knows? On how it'll hunt fish, maybe fish will get reworked so we can actually fish like in the Hope trailer. Maybe it'll have good underwater vision. That's assuming it can see and go underwater. Or maybe it'll have water sense. But with water sense, it runs a fine line of being unique and interesting to just being given to every semi-aquatic. So it'll be interesting to see how the devs do that. And do you guys think every semi-aquatic should have some form of water sense? I I I'm interested to see what you guys think about that. Dino Curious could also be more vulnerable at night times. With its restricted night vision range, it could be unaware of creatures lurking within the dark nights of Aruma. Thinking about its sound design, I'm hoping for goose-esque or goose-like calls, but obviously backed up with something much more formidable, just to enhance how scary Dino Curious can be. And the Isle sound design has been amazing, of recent, and in general to be honest, so I think we can have high expectations. Regarding its speed, I think it should be rather cumbersome on land, not having the best turning circle, but having a decent walk and trot speed, just to counteract its slow running pace. Also, its skin potential is amazing. Like, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be beautiful. Let me set the scene for you guys. You sneak through the reeds, trying to find some nutritious water plants. You come across a vast lake, drawn here by the sweet aroma of the tastiest water lilies. You are cautious at the aspect of such a large body of water, but you are in need of hydration. You hear foreign calls in the distance that make you second guess your objective, but your first demands you to head to water. But unbeknownst to you, you are being watched by numerous other animals also drawn here by the promises a huge water source holds. You are unaware what lies beneath the surface. Or what's closing in on you right now. Yes, it may sound cringe, but that is why I love the Isle and the potential it has. The in-depth realism where your life can be taken within a second. I just hope the devs can encapsulate it. If you've watched this far, thank you. You're a beautiful person. But I've got a question for you. What do, what do we think about Zebra Ankies? Now, to me, I, I, I'm on the fence. I don't know. And to me, it looks a bit weird that they're in a herd. Because I, I always see Ankies by themselves. Lonely Ankies. It's sad. Sad reality. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching this far. The next video should be the Paleo Conspiracy Theory one. That is going to be exciting. I'm, I'm ready for that. But yeah, thank you guys. I love you guys. Have a great day, night, life, job, dinner, everything. And I'll see you in the next one.